Hey, you guys, I'm Roxanne Speed with Enjoying Life Supernaturally. The Lord says that Pharaoh is not chasing you anymore. Stop listening for the sounds of the horses and the chariots and the enemy being able to pull you back in to what you were in before. The fear is gripping you. The triggers and reminders of the sounds of the enemy pursuing you. You have been pursued long enough, says the Lord. This is a season where I'm taking you into strict obedience. Why? That I may have strict discipline, which reaps a beautiful harvest, where you are well balanced and sound. Fear does not control you. People do not influence you. But you hear the word of the Lord. The Father says, I am training you through discipline to walk in my spirit. What does that mean? Do not chase after greed and lust and every other thing in the flesh. No, you have to set your mind and keep it set. Be intentional in this season, says the Lord. Be intentional. Christ Jesus says he's looking at you. He's not looking through you. He's looking at you. You have been looked through. You have been looked down on. But the Lord says man looks on the outward appearance. But I, the Lord, look at the heart. I have chosen you for a very specific and unique purpose. And it starts now. The Lord says that I am am sending reinforcements. I am sending people and situations that are going to open to you, but you have to step in. You have to seize the opportunity. Get out of your comfort zone. There is no growth in comfort. No, when you build your muscle, you have to burn it. You have to tear it down. But in it, you have to tell yourself that this is building me up. Do not dismiss this word, says the Lord your God. You are not walking in the ways of the world any longer. I need you to grow up. I need you to get off the milk and get off the bottle and being fed with a spoon. And I need you to eat meat in this hour because you are a champion. Hear the words of the Lord persuading you to understand that you will arrive. You're going to arrive in your own chariot and your own horses, Joseph. You're going to arrive and people will see the results of your obedience. I'm using you as a poster child for how you get close and you surrender your life to me and you pray, Lord, not my will, but your will be done. And you walk to the cross and you carry it. See, this word of teaching, of confirmation and encouragement is just as powerful as you think a little word of prophecy. He keeps hearing, listen intently, for you didn't have ears to hear or eyes to see where I'm taking you. But your vision is being expanded. I'm giving you an ability to see what you couldn't see, to hear what you couldn't hear. But how do you walk in my spirit, says the Lord? How are you led by my spirit, says the Lord? We can say it all day. But if you're not taught how to do it, it's ineffective. So I'm going to break it down to you. Do what you don't want to do anyway. Forget your feelings, for your feelings are misleading you. But I came to bring you truth and bring you higher into freedom of your mind, into patience where you're strong and interdependent in me. You're broke free of any codependency, pain, playing with the enemy. I say get Ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. This is going to be a season of intense training, but don't fear it. Make it fun. Listen to me like, like you're a spy or a secret, secret agent on assignment, and I'm in your voice, and I'm telling you everything that's going to come. I'm telling you what to do before you do it. So now 
says the Lord Jesus Christ. As I told my disciples, I'm telling you this now. So when it happens, you will remember this. You will believe, you will believe, and you will be strengthened to press on. I need you to power through. It's going to be like a, a wash, a car wash, where you're pounded by the, the water and the, the bristles, but it's cleaning you. You're being sprayed down with hot water, but it's cleansing and saturating you. The water of my word, which produces the power that you need. See, this isn't going to come by your own might or your own power, says the Lord, but by my spirit at work in you. But be led by the spirit of God. The Holy Spirit says, I'm here. I'm here with you. So near. I'm in you. I speak with you. I breathe with you. My heart beats with yours. We're one. So listen here as I tell you how to walk effectively in me, says the Holy Spirit. Give up one thing at a time, one second at a time. You're sinning. You can't quit something. Quit once and then you're going to fall back in it. Quit one more time the next time and you will fall back in it. See, this is what church doesn't teach you. They say sanctification, justification, grow up. No, it's a process. I already told you that you are no longer a child in this faith walk, that you are fully grown and mature. And I see the end from the beginning. And I tell you that you're already there. You're equipped and you're capable. You're leading. You're at the top of your game. You're successful in every way. And you're an inspiration because you're passionate. You're skilled. You've mastered the craft through your faculties, your ears, your eyes, your nose, your taste, your touch. You are a master at this, where I'm taking you coincides with where your heart wants to ride. See the desires of your heart and walk into them. Be led forth by peace, for I am releasing everything that you need. Pharaoh is chasing you no more. I've already drowned him and his horses, and his chariots, and his 600 trained soldiers and officers who were going to arrest you. The Lord says, I freed you, so walk free. I'm taking you over the Jordan. There will be some trials and tribulations, and it's going to be bumpy. Prepare yourself for the journey. Make it fun. Make it exhilarating, because you're walking with the king, the lion, of the tribe of Judah is with you. Fret not yourself, little one, for it is my good pleasure to give you the kingdom because the kingdoms of this world will be the kingdoms of God and his Christ. And his Christ says, I'm with you to the end of the ages. His Christ says, you have my mind, my beloved. You have my thoughts and my purposes and my t You think what I think. You purpose what I purpose. Your motives are my motives. Roll with it. It's a lot in this season because I'm shifting you. I'm shifting you from a baby eaglet to a full grown. You're soaring mama bird. You have a responsibility greater because of the elevation I'm taking you to love those as I have loved you. Forgive as I have forgiven you. Give as I have given unto you. If you want something different, you have to do something different. And remember that those you who dwell, you do in the secret place of the Most High shall remain stable and fixed, stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty where no foe can withstand. You say of the Lord, Lord, you are my rock and my redeemer, my fortress and my strong tower. And he says, because you know my name, because you affectionately love me, says the Lord God, I am delivering you this day. You're further than you think. You're closer than you feel. Do not allow feelings to dictate 
decisions. The Lord says, hear this word and chew on it. Remember this word. Do not allow your feelings to dictate your actions in this space. Why? Because I'm doing a new thing, says the Lord. And don't put me in a box. You can be confused and afraid and confounded and dismayed. But go anyway, Gideon. Move when you have nothing in your hands, Ruth. Get up, Esther, when you could be killed. If you perish, you perish. But I, the Lord, say, you will not perish. You will prosper in the very thing I sent you in. I need you bold. I need you with crazy faith because I'm crazy. I'm crazy about you. I love you for I am who I say I am and I will do what I say I will do. Get up and do the things you need to do and then I will do what you can't do. And what I make happen is going to blow your mind. Time and time again, you are perfectly positioned for where I need you to be, but I need you to act on truth. Step out on my word. Learn my written word because it's the standard on which everything else is measured because Jesus Christ is the word. He was the word and the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with God and it became flesh and he lives in you. He breathes in you. See, you live and move and have your being in him and through him and by him and because of him are all things made and held together. He is the Messiah, the returning king of glory. Make way, get crazy, risk it all. Be led by the Spirit of God. Amen? All right, you guys. When he stops, I stop. So if you have not yet um, subscribed to the channel, please do so. Help me save the people of Christ. They're drowning and they need you. Share, share, share. Hit the share button. It takes a second. Hit the like button. If this did anything for you, it helps. It literally makes the difference. Be an evangelist. Do the work of an evangelist and share the gospel word. Give unto this ministry so we can go out and we can reach the nations of this world so you can have a better nation to live in. Restoration, amen. We're going to make America great again, says the Lord. Mm. If you need to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I just tell you it's simple. Believe with your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and you shall be saved. Jesus, your Lord, make me receive you. Make me love you. Forgive me of my sin and bring me into your kingdom. You are my Lord. I love you and I praise you. You did it. You're saved. Okay, you guys, I love you. Keep commenting, share, give into the ministry, $5, 50 cents, 500, 500,000. You can't outgive God. It will come back double, triple, quadruple to you in this lifetime. Amen. Okay, I love you. Take care.